today we continue our theme of atelectasis. This is a patient who comes in with asthma and exacerbation and thick sputum. He's afebrile. We get this chest x-ray and we see that it's remarkably abnormal. First we can appreciate that there's a triangular opacity in the right upper hemithorax. Sometimes it's useful to say hemithorax rather than uh, lung or pleura. It allows us some time to arrive at a conclusion. So there's a triangular opacity here, and whenever we see that, we want to think about right upper lobe collapse. The first thing to do is to look for direct evidence of lobar collapse, which is displacement of the fissure. So if I were able to identify a minor fissure in its normal location, then I would know this cannot be lobar collapse. However, we see that this must represent the elevated fissure because we no, we no longer can identify it. Notice also the secondary evidence for lobar collapse. We can see that there's slight distortion distortion rather than elevation of the right hemidiaphragm. Additionally, look at the lucency of the right lung. It really is a lot more lucent than the left. And that's because there's compensatory hyperinflation of that right lung to uh, match the collapse of the right upper lobe. If you look very carefully, you can see that the trachea, which should be superimposed, on the spinous processes is actually deviated to the right. So these are all great manifestations of right upper lobe collapse. It's a lot easier to see right upper lobe collapse than left upper lobe collapse. The horizontal nature of the minor fissure means that when it collapses, the x-ray remains tangential to the plane of the fissure. Whereas on the opposite side on the left, the left upper lobe, as we saw in the case of left upper lobe collapse with the lung cancer, is displaced anteriorly and simply creates a veil-like opacity. Let's look at the lateral projection, and we can see here that it's this minor looking opacity that you have to sort of keep your eyes peeled for. All of this is the collapsed right upper lobe. In the context of a patient with asthma, we can presuppose that this is a patient with a mucus plug and that this should respond to pulmonary toilet and uh, chest physical therapy. So again, a case of right upper lobe collapse, elevation of the minor fissure, slight elevation of the hemidiaphragm, slight displacement of the trachea to the same side, and compensatory hyperinflation.